guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 40 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Cares. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, here comes my dog. <laughs> oh. Of course, Laura. <laughs> mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, do you want like an original story besides? Oh. Oh, did you see her hesitate for a whole and all, baby? I mean, because in a way, like, just how last week was Songo's finale, this is me, audience, and such. And then after that, I think. No, because after that is the Christmas episode. Next week is the Christmas episode. Then I think the show goes on break for the next two weeks. And anything else that ain't done is going to be done by Christmas. Then anything that didn't finish will go on break. So for speci uh, specifically this and Demon Slayer will probably go on break. And then return in January with all the new shows for winter. And then conclude. But, <laughs> oh, God. It's so freaking similar like my tweet. And I, I, I guess, okay, I can't even believe that we're getting very close to the end of the show because it feels like just yesterday we just started the show. Then freaking Laura as Kurt Lemaire came, then it was my birthday. Now we in December. <laughs> I start work tomorrow. Tomorrow is my mom's birthday and we're almost done with the year and we're about to be in 2022. It goes by way too freaking fast, especially when it's like a show like this and that it is planned throughout the whole year. It goes too freaking quickly. she would say no oh me you got this Exactly. You can't always force someone to write what they want to write. Just a feeling. Mm hmm <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. She seemed very hesitant and wanting to do it. Yeah. She has to be, because what else? Don't be scared. You got this. Mm -hmm. Oh, she gonna make me cry. Come on, man. It's Sunday. The day before I start my job for the first day. I know how you feel. It's scary. Were you up all night? Oh, I couldn't think of anything. You want to sleep on it? Hmm? No. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just basically to make you happy and to help you. <laughs> of course she already be downstairs. A supermarket, yeah, fruit store. Huh? Oh. A papaya plantation, huh? (laughs) 
Yeah, I honestly thought it would be as tall as a pineapple tree, even though I have it. Well, no, pineapples grow in the in the yeah in the dirt. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, where do you start? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, I've never eaten a papaya, but... <laughs> oh, you... You don't even know! Oh! Yeah. You just make it another memory for yourselves. Yeah. No. <laughs> Pretty baby. Mm-hmm. This is delicious party pretty here. Yeah, it's a gorgeous color. Come on. So...
All of the above, I know I... Are we doing agility? You know, that one Pokemon move or something? Oh! Uh. We definitely go forget that episode. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Freaky Friday. Pretty cure edition. <laughs> oh.
I still want that thing. It was on a freaking website and I could have got it, but somebody got it before me. Uh. <laughs> oh, thank God. No, I think you found it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Seems like that's everybody's finale for now. But I'm so happy for her. Like, seriously, even though this is, like, quote-unquote, everybody else's finale except, you know, Laura and Mana too, because they're the last two and we gotta save them for the final two episodes in this because, you know, next week is a Christmas episode and that's when we take a little break from the main story and such. I mean, it was a really... Very interesting episode for Mirorin. I mean, it kind of reminded me of, like, any moment of her Segu playing, um, Violet Evergarden in a nutshell. Almost in a way, her, Mirorin's whole story gave me feels to Violet Evergarden and how maybe not 100% similar, but had some similarities to it because something tells me that her Seiyu probably when she did do Violet Evergarden and when she recorded this, whenever in the world they did their last sessions for this show, for the final episodes and such, but getting into any moment where Mirodin had to focus on her, you know, as her story as a character, she probably did think of Violet and her story and wondering certain things because they're like Mirodin and Violet are very similar in two different in many different ways but they're also different in several ways and I think this is a really nice conclusive ending to say that yeah she's going to write the story she's going to you know do a lot of things good things and I honestly cannot wait to see what they're going to be for her especially when we do see these girls grow older and such because, you know, after last season for Healing Good and we didn't get to see those girls grow up and such, you know, it, it's a must that we need to see these girls older by the end of this series so that they can be adults and everything because that's all I want. Okay, so it seems like we're... So then we're not getting the Christmas episode until the week of Christmas. So I'm guessing that's when they're going to officially take the break. So now it's going to be interesting to see them all have a <laughs> story together. I think it's going to be probably not 100% similar to the... Um, I think it was episode 34 or 35, a.k.a. the big comedy episode where it was like several stories in one. And you got to see how... Technically, because, mm, God, out of, out of all five girls and looking at their seiyus, I know, um, I can say Asuka's seiyu, um, may, no, okay, Asuka's seiyu, Songo's, 
Manatsu's and maybe and I have to probably go look at this after I'm done watching my other two shows maybe meet on in the only one that I cannot probably well no 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 yeah yeah I can say I can say that the only one that I can't say who maybe hasn't been in like a comedy as show but it seems like all five have been in comedy as shows um in their voice acting careers and such it's probably going to be something very similar to that episode where it's going to be like oh very funny and giddy and witty and such but still serious at the same at the same time because they have to write a story and such I, I honestly cannot wait to see how it's going to go for these five because of course all five of these girls have unique and interesting ideas and to put it down into a writing form who knows what in the world is going to happen. I mean, this will be a very interesting episode for all five of them. Even though this was a Mirodin finale type episode and we're focusing on all five next week. Who knows how it's going to go. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 40 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, hopefully, depending on what time I come home from work. <laughs> and if I can get it out so that I can come out on Sunday for you guys for episode 41. Bye, guys.